All right, so today uh, we're going to do a new concept, uh, something that you guys probably have never seen before. It's uh, called logarithmic functions. This is uh, going to be quite different, so you are going to have to pay attention. It's not really that difficult, but there is a lot of material in this. We're going to see how far we get. I may run into my limit of 15 minutes here. We'll, we will find out. But let's just quickly go through a couple of uh, definitions. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more broad what it is. Okay, so the logarithm, logarithm of y with base b is denoted by this. So you'll always see it log base is always in the middle and then whatever you're taking the logarithm of. Now the big thing here is this is not multiplication. We're not doing log times a number. It's the logarithm of a number and it's defined as log, logarithm base b of y equals x. And that's if and only if b to the x equals y. In other words, this little base down here to the x power will always equal y. So what a logarithm basically is, is it's the inverse of exponential form. So you're going to see things in two different forms. You're going to see it in logarithmic form, and you'll also see it in exponential form. So a couple of different logarithms you need to know, and you will see this on your calculator, a log button, but it says a common logarithm is a logarithm with base 10. It can be denoted by log base 10, but you will normally see it just as log. So whenever you see log only, it means that it's log base 10. And understand, we can have log base anything. The second type of logarithm that you see commonly is a natural logarithm. And that is with base e. So you will see it as ln natural log. Why is it ln? I have no idea. That's just the, the universal sign for a natural log. Log uh, base e is natural log, which is ln. Okay, so the same thing as log base e, but you will always see it as ln, so you need to understand that that's what that means. So let's go through a quick review here, and because this is going to kind of get into what we're doing. So a couple of examples here. We have 2 to the x power equals 8. In other words, 2 to what power equals 8? And I know that you guys have a, you guys struggle with this. So we need to make sure that we understand this. So 2 to the x power, 2 to the what power, meaning 2 multiplied by itself, how many times will equal 8? Well, that is 2 to the third power equals 8. So therefore, x equals 3. Okay, over here we have 3 to the x power equals 27. Again, 3 to the third power equals 27, so x is equal to 3. Okay, so that is going to be very important with what we do uh, in this section. So let's just get right into it. So it says now try finding x for 2 to the x equals 6. Well, we don't, there's no specific power that works there. What we're going to do is we're going to use logarithms to be able to solve a problem like that uh, without having to use our, cal well, we'll use our calculator, but in a sense, logarithms is how we solve this. So let's go through this a little bit. So definition of a logarithm with base b, it says let b and y be positive numbers with b not equal to 1. The logarithm of y with base b is denoted, this is what we talked about above. Okay, so here's the thing. These two things are equivalent, and that's what it says. By this definition, these two things are equivalent. It's just one is going to be in logarithmic form, and the other one is in exponential form. So what we're going to do in these examples right here is just show you what the form of this looks like. So let's look at that. If we're going to put these in exponential form, it's real simple. The base to the power equals this. 2 to the fifth power equals 32. This is exponential form. 10 to the 0 power equals 1. 9 to the 1 power equals 9. And then we have 1 fifth to the negative 2 power equals 25. Now, this is one thing that we have always struggled with. We have to get better at this. Why does this work? Why does this equal 25 besides you saying that's what it says in the calculator? Because if we were to apply this, we would have 1 to the negative 2 over 5 to the negative 2. And because both of these have negative powers, we would flip them. That's equal to 5 to the second over 1 to the second, which is just 25. That's why that works. 
Okay, so that is the beginning of this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next page. This is just understanding what logarithms are and how you manipulate them and turn them into exponential form. Oh, real quick before we move on, notice here, 10 to the 1, okay? Basically, anytime you have log base anything to the 1, it will always be 0, no matter what, because the only way we can get 1 is if we raise something to the 0 power. Over here, same thing. If we have log base anything equals the same thing as the base, it's got to be equal to 1 because the only way to get from 9 to 9 is by going to the first power. 9 to the first power equals 9. So no matter what you see in these two, that is a, a property that will always work. Anything base to the, you know, uh, log of anything to the 1 will equal 0, and log of anything to the same base will always be equal to 1. So you can always test that. You can do it, but it's, that's always going to work. So if you can remember that, fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you an example and then you'll do one on your own. So uh, we're going to evaluate each of the following without using a calculator. So what we're going to do is we are going to simply set this up. So even though it doesn't have equals, we can still put equals x because it's going to equal something that we are, that's an unknown. That's why we put that there. So what this means is we have 4 to the x power equals 64. So 4 to the what power equals 64? And that is x equals 3. So therefore, the log base 4 of 64 is equal to 3. And that's how we solve these. That's without a calculator. Okay, so go ahead and do this one on your own. I'm going to pause the video. You take a second to do it on your own. And when you're ready, hit play. Okay, so as you can see, we're back. And uh, hopefully, you came up with x equals 4. You set it up 3 to the x power equals 81. x is equal to Four. So therefore, the log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Okay, next example. Again, we will set this up just like we normally do. This will be 6 to the x power equals 1 sixth. Again, the only way to get to a fraction from a, from a whole number is by ha having negative powers. So this will be 6 to the negative 1 power which is equal to 1 over 6 to the first, which is 1 sixth. So therefore, the log base 6 of 1 sixth is going to be negative 1. Okay, so again, we were setting this up as 6 to the x equals 1 sixth, so x is equal to negative 1. Again, pause the video, try this on your own, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so again, you should have gotten an answer of negative 4. The idea of this is, is you see this 4 here, so you think of what 4 to the what power will equal 256, so it's 4 to the 4th. Therefore, 1 4th would have to be to the negative 4th, because that will flip it to be 4 to the 4th. So the answer here is negative 4. Okay, these ones are a little bit easier, but they go with our properties here, so I want to make sure that we understand them. So we have a log of 10. Now remember, this means log base 10 of 10. So if there is no base given to you, then you have to assume that it's 10. Okay, so therefore we have 10 to the x power equals 10. So therefore x is equal to 1. So log of 10 is just equal to 1. Okay, again, on your own, try this one. When you're ready, hit play. Try and remember back to our properties here. Okay, so try that. Hit play when you're ready. Okay, so again, same idea. L N E. That is log base e. That's what natural log is, is log base e. Okay, so we have e to the x equals e, or e to the 1. Therefore, x has to equal 1. So we got x equals 1 again here. Same idea as this one. Okay, so moving on down. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, how these two are inverses of each other. So if you notice this, what we have here is we have log base b of b to the x power is equal to x. Basically what's happening is, is this right here and this right here are canceling out with each other. Okay, the log base B and the B cancel out with each other and you're left with whatever that exponent is. And then also when we're dealing in exponential form, same idea. If you have a base here to the log base B power, so if this, the base, and the base of the log are the same, everything will cancel out except for what you're taking the log of, so that would equal X. Okay, so what does that mean for down here? Well, let's follow through these examples and then you'll try one on your own. So we have log base 5 of 125 to the x. Well, this is a little tricky here because 5 and 125 are not the same, but we can make them the same because 125 can be broken up into 5 to a power. 
So we're going to rewrite this as log base 5 of 5 to the third power to the x. Because now these are the same. So again, we will keep going. This is log base 5 of 5 to the 3x, because 3 times x is just 3x. So now because these two bases are the same, it's like saying 5 to the what power equals 5 to the 3x. Well, the what power just has to be 3x. In other words, the log base 5 and the 5 cancel out, and we are just simply left with this as our answer. So therefore, the answer to this is 3x. Log base 5 and the 5 cancel out. Okay, that's what the properties of inverses are between exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay, let's look at this example. e to the ln of 9. So this is kind of going in the opposite direction here. So what we have is we have a, an e to a natural log. So what we're going to do is we are going to write this properly. So e, let's move down here so it doesn't mess up. We have e to the basically log base e of 9. And again, we have a base, and the base are the same. E, L, N. That means the bases are the same. Basically, what's going to happen is these are going to cancel out, and we are just simply left with whatever we're taking the log of. And that's how the inverses work. So this is equal to 9. Again, try this one on your own. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to hit pause. I apologize if I didn't do that before. So take five seconds, hit pause, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you got 4x as your answer. Again, we separated this. This 81 turned into 3 to the 4th power. So that became 3 to the 4x, and then the log base 3 and 3 cancel out. Remember, you can only cancel it out if the base and the base are the same. And then they cancel out, and whatever's left in the exponent is what your answer is. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so now in this section, we're going to actually find our inverses. For the first one, it's actually pretty straightforward because we've already defined what the inverse of y equals 8 to the x is. And that's, and that's real simple because it's just going to be written as a logarithm. We've said the inverse of exponential functions are logarithms. So this will be y equals log base 8 of x. Done. That is what the inverse is. And obviously, the inverse of log base 8 of x would just be 8 to the x. Now, this one over here is a little bit more complicated, so pay attention to this. We're going to set this up exactly like we would so, uh, with normal inverses like we did last chapter. We're going to switch our x's and our y's, so we have ln of y minus 4 now. Now, think about natural log. Natural log is log base e. So the inverse is how we get rid of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise both sides to the e. The only way for me to get rid of a natural log is by raising it up into the power with e as the base. So what's going to happen is we're going to go e to the x power equals e to the ln of y minus 4 because we've already determined that the e and the ln will cancel out. So those cancel out and we're left with e to the x equals y minus 4. So then to solve this problem we add 4 to both sides and we get y equals e to the x plus 4. That is your inverse function. And again, it doesn't matter that this is ln. If this was y equals log base 8 to the x minus 4, we would do everything the exact same way. The difference would be is when we get to this point right here, if we were trying to do this, this would end up being, instead of e to the x, it would be 8. Because then the 8s would cancel out, the log would cancel out, and then we would go through it the exact same way. Remember, we are just solving this by getting rid of our logarithm. So our logarithm is gotten rid of by whatever that base is. So the base here is e, so that's what we use to get rid of it. Okay, so go ahead and do these two on your own, and then come back and see what the solutions are. Okay, so we are almost out of time here, but here's your solutions for y equals 5x, and then your solution here should have been y equals e to the x plus 5. 
Watch the next video for the rest of the notes.